This is the first in a series of videos in which I will show you how the real localization work looks like. I'm going to show you how to convert this Excel file into a project in the computer aided translation tool, the CAT tool, and what happens in between. This is most probably the file that you will deliver to be localized. It contains English strings to be translated for columns in which different translation will appear. There is a column with the description of the strings and the character limit. This file is not complicated, however it might pose some problems and we'll have a look at them. So first of all we need to import this file into MemoQ. I already prepared a project in MemoQ in which we will be showing all the information and all the procedures that take place. So first I will try and import this file in a not proper way and I will show what happens when the simple file as this one is important without preparation. I'm opening the Excel file I showed you a second ago. The file gets imported quickly, but when you open it in MemoQ you see that all the strings and all the texts are imported, so the names of the sheets the names of the columns and the descriptions. Some of these strings and text do not need to be translated, they are just for information purposes. And if I started translating file in this view as you see it, the final file would be unusable because for example the localization strings in English would be substituted by Polish translations I will be writing here. So this type of importing is quite bad. We need to do this in other way. So I'm going to delete this file and import it again, but applying some different options. I import the same file and it is properly recognized as Microsoft Excel file, but this is not what we want. We need to change some options. First of all we need to configure this file as multilingual, so we choose this filter and now I need to configure the columns. As you see there are seven columns, not all of them need to be imported and we'll need import only some of them. First of all is the column A, the description. So we need to format it properly in MemoQ. It will be the comment. For a second we will leave the character limit and switch to English source strings. So for C column, I will choose source text. We don't need the German, Spanish and Russian version, so we will not touch these columns. We will import a place for Polish localization and having completed this localization, my translations will be input here. So I need to format the F column as translation of the source text, so translation of column C into Polish. Now we can come back to the column B that contains character limit and having chosen the source and target languages I can choose length limit in characters for column F because it applies to the translation file. I can also choose not to import the first row which contains column names, the first row, and now I'm ready to import the file and start translating. As you see the file looks quite different now as it only contains the real strings to be translated and if you look closely you will see that that the information we've imported about the description of the strings and the character limit is displayed in the bottom. So this is useful for the translator now. The file is ready and I can start translating from the first string. What happens later I will show you in another videos.